set up on the hammer and on the scalpel. And this is the pipe. And we are uh, reacting to Spider-Man Far From Home. Yep, the official trailer with apparently Tom Holland, who is known notoriously as the kid who will spoil everything, <laughs> uh, giving us a heads up on a spoiler. That's, I think that's the first time? That's some ironic shit. Yeah. That's very ironic. I think that was the first time he's ever done it. Yeah, because yeah. he's always guilty. Him and uh, Mark Ruffalo. Ruffalo. Guilty, guilty, guilty. So we're going to fire this up. Yep, yeah, let's do it. And you'll see what the, the multicultural tools of mayhem have to say. <laughs> let's do it. About to play. Stop watching. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, we have seen it. Enjoy the trailer. Well, four times. I miss you, 2000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was 2000. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the Iron Spider suit. Yeah. I'm glad he got his his man his legs back. Yeah, because like. <laughs> That's totally me. What the fuck you say? Did you just say that me? Good old happy. Because if you don't talk to him, I have to talk. I want to talk to him. You said Nick Fury was mad. You did not hang up on him. Yeah, you hung up on Nick Fury. What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here at State Park of Bowling. That guy had it coming, yeah. It's a thick one. Never ages a bit. Black don't crack. <laughs> That's white folk against the garbage. <laughs> brown folk, well, we get past both worlds. <laughs> There's a couple of like Patrick Stewart's up there. Yeah. Sure. A multiverse, eh? Yup. Yeah. They like referencing the Avengers. So these are elemental. Wait. It's just like, <laughs> the ones we turn to were ain't, ain't here. So, six suits. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Bitch, <laughs> 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 please. <laughs> Still never knew Mysterio could fly. Okay. Right. But he's also got like elemental no. magic powers too. I mean, it's kind of obvious. She's got like that sarcastic intelligence. A lot of people are bitching that she's very strong. Yeah, because. They're asking. Yeah. Yeah, and she, she, she has dry humor, and Mary Jane is pretty much like... Which is everybody in the MCU now? All yeah. sarcastic humor. The world needs the next Iron Man. Well, I've never seen the, uh, uh, that thing on his wrist there before. Yeah. yeah. I thought they'd keep an Iron Man on that. Well, your facts right away look the same. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. They look like that. Like, 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 I think it is. Yeah, nope, nope. It wasn't <laughs> wasn't, there, wasn't there? That's pretty good. Like wasn't that. there yeah. a um someone who took over the mantle of Iron Man? Riri Williams. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, uh, Iron Heart. Iron Heart. She becomes Iron Heart. Um, she builds her first suit in high school with spare parts that she just like finds around. And in the comics, I, uh, as far as I believe, her AI system is Tony Stark. So that's why she, that's why she was like Not such Jarvis. a big deal. Not Jarvis. Oh, Jarvis. wow. That's pretty cool. I did like an Avengers Endgame where they showed where Jarvis came from. Yeah. And yeah. He's, that was cool. Jarvis is the only character, or the person I played Jarvis, is the only character in the all 10 years of Marvel to ever come from the TV shows. Because that's the same guy they played in, that played Jarvis in Agent Carter. Didn't huh? watch that. I did. I did. Yeah. I liked I did. It. Didn't yeah. Watch it. Uh, Agent watch Carter. Okay. She, um, Tony Stark's butler was always assisting her on missions and stuff. So. so the thing is with, with the hammer and the scalpel and the pipe, we turn to him for all Marvel knowledge. <laughs> you yeah. come to me for almost everything else. To survive. He's the Bear Grylls. Of our uh, group. <laughs> Basically, when the zombie apocalypse comes, you want me on your team. Is He's it, captain. Yeah. yeah. He's the captain now. Is it like, <laughs> <laughs> I am your captain now. 
<laughs> yeah, like, like, like and martial that, arts, survival, uh, combat tactics, mm-hmm. first aid, triage. Just start naming it. Yeah, that, I'd probably just be the heavy gunner. Like, you are. That, that cool guy that pulls There's a reason he called me the scalpel. Yeah. I do the small shit, mm-hmm. and you two big scary motherfuckers do everything else. Yeah. I like the pipe. It's very uh, simple and effective. Just like me. I like to, I don't like to be complicated. I like simple things, simple life, and simply telling people what you feel. And that just doesn't happen anymore. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> it doesn't. That's why all three of us get along, because yeah. we, we, it's impossible for us to like hide shit. Yeah. So, we're three grown ass men that love fucking comics, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, straight up. I mean, I now when it comes to this movie, I think I'm really excited about it because it's introducing a villain, but also now that uh, brought to the attention of multiverse. The multiverse? Yeah. yeah. I was yep. just like taking a villain that could be a hero perhaps? Yeah. Well, I think it's cool because out of all 22 movies yep. that have come out, that's including Endgame, wow. they've had yeah, nothing. Yeah, 22. Yeah. Uh, they have had nothing to suggest how mutants, um, celestials, um, Fantastic Four, mutants, how oh, any of those people would be coming in because we all know if they're like, well, Wolverine's been there all this time, where the hell was he for the last 10 years with all this shit going on? Yeah, in the multiverse. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yes. Instead of with Sony. Yes. Now, my, <laughs> my question is, who would you want to see first? Which group? Fantastic Four or X-Men? X-Men. 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 I'd say Fantastic Four. Oh, Fantastic okay. Four I'd like to see done better. Better. Not have Galactus as a... A cloud. A fart cloud. A fart cloud. cloud. Yeah, that, that was terrible. Bullshit. I think at the Silver Surfer went down. Silver Surfer did look Silver good. Silver was good, and having Lawrence Fishburne do his voice was gold. What? That I didn't know. That was Lawrence That's Fishburne. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I would never have Yeah, that was Lawrence Fishburne. I think yeah. Silver Surfer was done well, but how they tried to introduce Galactus was terrible. Yeah, it was not good. He was he was a fart no. club. No, he was, needed more of a backstory for Silver Surfer. It was more of an avant to, to the pipe than I, I, I want I want to see that. <laughs> I want to see I, that. I do Aliens and Predator and Mass Effect. That's where my nerdiness comes from. See, I want to see that giant. I turn to him for all of my marbles. But I want to see that giant purple suit wearing, like giant. Oh, just just, 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 just big, I want to just, see that. Like, I want to see that, the big, that the big hammer butter chicken motherfucker who just like ravages worlds. <laughs> yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy is just like eating that stuff. Like yeah. he's eating where he's a well, viral world. During the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, that location nowhere is the Celestial Head. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yep. and if they can do that now, or then. Yeah, so granted, out. I'm guessing if you have a full humanoid that big, he's going to have like a gravitational fucking pull. <laughs> you know? Wait, he's going to be a Yeah, you going to be this big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. I don't know, give me Galactus that can like, you feel the effects of him coming because he's like three light years away, but he's so fucking big, he's affecting your planet. He's like, right? um, I mean, like, he, he's like a Transformers Omnicron. Uh, you're Omnicron. You're Omnicron. 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 Yes. Thank you. Hell yeah. Exactly. Again, my, I, I got aliens and Predator. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and Mass Effect. Like, now, with them introducing the multiverse, and with everything that's happening with the MCU now, with the next phase that's going to happen, yep. I think this is a way that they're going to kind of like, patch up a lot of the things that like, with Endgame, I think. Because it'll be patch up possibly, so yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Endgame's lack of, after credit stingers. Apart from the hammer, I of Iron, the Iron Man hammer yeah. thing, was oh, it was it disappointing. Was, it was a lot of people were like, because everyone was waiting. True, but this is the lot. This is what I'm saying. Like I understand Spider Man Far From Home is the last movie in Phase Three, but technically the end of Phase Three to me ends with Endgame, and at that point, no end credit scenes. You don't. You don't get like a snippet of what to expect for the whole of Phase Four, because that's what you're, I'm looking for. If you're going to give me a post credit scene, something that will introduce the the ideology of Phase Four. The fact that they don't, then you don't have people for the next year saying like, "Well, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen." Yeah. With what they did with Far From Home, just with this trailer introducing multiverse, introducing uh, Mysterio coming from another Earth. Easily, just just with that one line, lets them crack open, yeah, yeah crack open any any storyline that they want to do. So I'm hoping within the next five years, that first Avengers movies that we do is the Secret War Avengers movie. That's probably the next big thing that they can do. That's the Secret Wars. Yeah. Well, if they're either to do Secret Wars or they have to do Galactus, they can't do both. 
as for Farfetch, as, as much as like even introducing like the X Men, I would actually wouldn't mind like uh, for them to to now that like now that the whole Thanos the Infinity Saga is completely out of the way, is to bring like a, a mega villain out like uh, is like Onslaught with the X Men. That would be interesting. True. Like, I if, agree. If they brought somebody like Onslaught in, because I mean that's like. That's like a combined of, uh, of, of Magneto and, and, uh, and, and Professor X. Professor yeah, X is that was Trump. Because there's only, after Thanos, and even in, in Endgame, how they portrayed Thanos. Like, in Infinity War, Thanos was a he, badass. But he was okay. Right? He, he was, he was uh, relying on the gauntlet. He was, he was more spiritual. On nothing. He was, he was more, more spiritual. spiritual yeah. and he was relying, like, uh, power-wise, nothing but the gauntlet. Yeah. In Endgame, he didn't have the gauntlet. Yeah. But he was still going to town on But he was also five years younger and still like gung ho ready to fucking move around. But really does five it? years matter to a Titan who's how many thousands of years old? Yeah. Uh, it could be if you're the one who's literally going from planet to planet murking like half the people there. That takes yeah. a lot out of you, dude. I would imagine more so than like someone going to like a war here. I guess, but I feel compelled to state that if you hit me with a ball of energy, I'd be a fucking paste. You hit him with a ball of energy, he just like yeah, and he did, then he rocks out his. Well, then energy. you just need a bigger ball of energy. You, you could have lived with your own failure. Oh, <laughs> back to me. It's <laughs> <so funny. laughs> generally, with this movie, with Far From Home coming out, I mean, what's what's the expectation of this? Because I mean, right away, the easily it's going to be gold. Yeah. Easily, it's it's an MCU movie, even though it's Spider-Man. I like I like the last Spider-Man one was pretty good too. Yep. Yeah. It was, yeah. Michael was Keaton really was gold. Yeah. Oh, as the most old, absolute Jake gold. Gyllenhaal being introduced into this. Is, he uh, did a good job. Happy. Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal, he's always going to be Donnie Darko to me, so which means he's always going to fucking portray. I think Jarhead. Jarhead. I think so Jarhead. Jarhead was a good Jarhead movie. Was yeah. good. Jarhead was a good yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah, was good. But I always go back to Donnie Darko, man, because I watched that when I was like yeah. a late teen, and I was like, that shit's dark. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's well, named Donnie Darko. <laughs> But as for the fun, but, but as for like Spider Man, like mm-hmm. the ones that like uh, Tobey Maguire, that other guy, whatever. That Andrew was. Garfield. I think he did a better job than uh, Tobey Maguire. Like, like, that's just Tobey Maguire. Because yeah, there's no dance scene. Trash. Oh. That that third movie. It's not often I say I walked out of a theater to take a phone call. Yeah. I walked out of the theater on Spider Man Three. It was bad. Yeah. Yeah. That dance scene. I'm like, uh, I feel. I felt oily and emo at the same time, <laughs> and I didn't think that was a thing. I was disappointed in um, Venom, oh because God. Venom, if he's not on Spider-Man, it's not supposed to be the size of Spider-Man. They had, what was it, Topher Grace? Played Topher Venom? <laughs> that man was about, what, 46 pounds soaking wet? Like, <laughs> sure, true. he got like a little bit like thicker for the, the movie, but like him getting thicker is at five pounds. Like, he did not play a good But man. not even that is even the if... The graphics like, were bad, everything. Man. Well, Topher Grace, like, as, as big as he was, I mean, Eddie Brock was a, was a, was a chain huge, smoking He was huge, He was huge. He's jacked. Eddie Brock, yep. And like truthfully, I'm even, not jacked. But, <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm big, big and I've got like the chest with the density of a dying star. But Ravi, the hammer's jacked. All right. I'm a Kobe. The, the, <laughs> but but, <laughs> but, but, but <laughs> truthfully, I mean, even what they could have done to fix that is that when the symbiote took over, yeah, like uh, it took over Eddie Brock, it would have added the mass and turned him into the giant. It did though. It did. Yeah. Not that big. Yeah, I mean, it did. It was huge. Um, I mean, like how they portrayed him in the Venom movie? No, no, not in the Venom movie. No, no I'm talking about I'm talking about Spider Man. No, no, no. I'm oh, talking Spider-Man about Spider Man Three. Oh, Spider Man Three. Yeah. They turned him just into. He looked like uh, what was it? The, what was it called? Uh, when an when, emo, an emo freak. No, no, the Dark the Web. Or what was his name? They when uh, Spider Man got taken over with the symbiote first, he looked more like that. Talk yeah. to him. Yeah, talk yep. to the pipe. But the thing is, is that like when it comes I mean, like, to like what Topher Grace looked like in Spider Man Three is comparable to what Spider Man looked like in the comics. When was exactly. Okay. Like, I mean, even if they would have done that properly, they could have had, like, Venom just be a big, like, when the symbiote took over, Topher Grace's character could have just been a giant. Yeah, like, yep. yeah, like how Tom Hardy's Venom was, because he yep. was the right size. Like, don't get me wrong, the good, the only thing of good about the Venom movie was that he was the right size. He was uh, big, he was he's jacked. He's big, but he's not tall. Yeah, well, no, but no, when, when, the, when Venom, like, when the symbiote well, took over, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he looked like, pretty he legit. big, yeah. So, I mean, how they're going to introduce... Like if they're going to introduce like to the, the whole like symbiote saga within this MCU, that's something I want to see. No, I don't believe. I agree that would be amazing. Venom will never be in the MCU because they released today 
all the dates for Phase Four. Oh, so far, for, okay. For yeah. All the films, yeah. all of them. Disney released it. Not titles, so we don't know what what's coming out. Uh, but they released well, it. So, it, and, and honestly, the next one after Spider-Man: Homecoming is 2020. But well, what's the first movie in 2020? Nobody knows. Uh, they released the dates only, 2020 to 2021. Okay, That's it. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I believe that uh, Black Widow should start off Phase 4 with a prequel. Yep. And then go Black to Shang-Chi. Pa- and Black, I, uh, Black Panther 2 is still coming out. Yeah, Black, Black Panther 2. Two. So, okay, so, 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 so we know two of them, right? So, so Black, uh, Black Widow. Yeah. Black Panther. Uh, Black Panther 2. Shang-Chi. Yeah. Oh, Shang-Chi's Shang-Chi version yeah. of fucking Iron Fist. That's not it, no. Because Iron Fist is trying uh, Shang-Chi is would decimate. Uh, no, 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 I'm saying like like a proper version of Iron Fist that isn't a white moron on Netflix. Yes. I think Iron Fist would have worked. If he was a hipster, sir. Yes, if he did not bring whatever his name from Game of Thrones. All you needed was a no-name actor that is good at martial arts. That's all you needed. Well, yep. that, that's the problem. The only time you ever get someone who knows what they're doing martial art ways is mm-hmm. so rare. True. Like yeah, honestly, yeah. the last one that pops into my head, and, and everyone tell me if I'm wrong, happily in the comments, is Ray Park as Darth Maul in Episode One in Nineteen Ninety Nine. Yeah, true. Because nobody really knew who he was until he played Darth Maul. Not at all. He had his like like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which was garbage. <laughs> yeah. But he was a stunt guy, and then he came out and proper Northern Wushu fighter. As soon as that guy moves, you're like, that guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yep. But it's just like, and then you get like. I'm going to get some hate for this, and I'm fine with that, but Keanu Reeves in The Matrix, with some of his movements, he was stiff. Yeah. He's like, you're new. Well, but yeah, the movie, yeah. If you have muscle memory, because like with Muay Thai, yeah, yeah. or, or Kali and Arnes is what I take, mm, well, it's like, it's fluidity of movement. I think like, yeah. also when it comes to like, I mean, speaking of which, is like, wait, that got improved over time, because I mean, everybody knows and seen John Wick. I mean, he did a lot of his own things. And he also, does 98% of his own stunts yeah, in, and in the whole There was also series. a movie that came out not too long ago called The Man of Tai Chi, and he did a great job in that. Again, Kung Fu movies, martial arts movies, that's my thing. And he, Keanu Reeves came out doing a movie called The Man of Tai Chi, and he, you know, he was doing, like, it's like taking what he learned from John Wick and putting it inside of a martial arts film, which was, which it was, it was like, it wasn't even a Western movie. That was no. actually... That was a movie from abroad too, which was like. Really but weird. guys like Keanu, Reeves, a guy like Keanu Reeves in those kind of movies, Keanu. you could tell that he appreciates the culture, he appreciates yep. what he's doing. It is not just a job to him; that's his life. You know yeah, he's true. He gets to portray it, so I love it. Have you guys ever met him? Did you Keanu Reeves? Yeah. No, I did. Yeah. That guy is great. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he good, good human. He is. He did a film here uh, two years ago. Honestly, I can't remember. But he would just take these sojourns, and he would wander around our city. And, like, he, he wandered into gyms and other places, and he would just talk to people. I ran into the guy in Henderson Highway. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, thinking, I'm like, it's, it's that moment where you don't want to sound like a, like, like a dick, really. Yeah. You look like someone, but I'm like, I'm sorry, you can't read. He's like, yeah. As soon as he opened his mouth, I'm like, God damn. I, I would have just, <laughs> <laughs> just looked at him and just be like, be excellent. That's it. <laughs> yeah, be excellent to each other. But as much as, <laughs> as, much as we as much as we don't need to segue too much away from what we're looking at when it comes yeah. to Spider Man, Spider Man, I have uh, new topics sometimes. No, no, but for most things is like we're we're very excited when it comes to a lot of the a lot of the MCU that's coming out, a lot of the theories that all of us have when it comes to what's gonna happen in the next phase. But yeah. this movie looks really good. It does. It yeah. it, 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 it looks it looks like a movie that you'll happily pay full price for. Right, and it'll maybe answer some questions. I and then, so. with the stingers, because you know this is gonna have stingers. Yeah, yeah. stingers. We'll ask some more questions, which Ho- is hopefully they give you an explanation of how other people get to come in. Yep, that's what I want to. That's know. what I'm hoping. Yeah, no, because you're right on that. One. We'll I don't see how they're able could able to introduce X Men or Fantastic Four without the multi-dimensional thing. You know what I mean? So, oh, right, right. Well, let's see what happens in the next 20 movies that come out. Well, we'll, we'll, be we'll be here. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be around, yeah. So we will do our reviews on that. So stay tuned with that. And Absolutely. That. Don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button. 
We're still pretty good at this. And the we're, lights. We're, we're doing, yeah. yeah. We're, we're doing our best. Absolutely, we'll, guys. And also, cheers. You will get this hammer, though. And cheers. Cheers. Paul. Cheers. So, cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers, cheers everybody. And uh, I'm the hammer. I'm the scalpel. And this is the pipe. And uh, peace. Peace.